All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody out there? Today, I want to talk about a couple of things today on my blog. Uh, I want to talk about a blogger that I came across, and her name is Cynthia G. And this Cynthia G, who is a, I guess, a, a female blogger, she has gotten to the point where she is bashing black men on her blog. So when I came across this, I was like, okay, what's she all about? So I'm like, let me just listen to the sister. I mean, you know, and I, you know, I've seen her uh, for quite some time on the whole circuit of uh, Hotep, or I don't want to say Hotep, but I've, I've seen her for a while as far as talking about black issues and things of that nature. So um, I started watching a video and I seen she, like she's calling all these black men dusties based on the fact that she's her argument is that black men are no longer supporting protecting black women and that black men are selling out black women by uh, being with other women of other race white women hispanic women so on so forth so i was just like you know okay so i'm listening to her blogs i'm following her i'm just checking her out and i find out that she's calling every brother the every brother that calls into her little show She's dogging them, calling them dusty and all this crazy stuff. So I'm checking out her following and all the people that are in the chat, all these women who are like angry and they're angry for whatever reason, maybe because they have their heart broken. A lot of them probably picked the wrong type of men in their life. I don't know. So there are all these women are just calling black men dusty that are trying to call in and trying to help with some, some, uh, some ideas on how we can better make our, uh, uh, our work. Uh, community a better place for dating so so forth but it seems like cynthia g would just rather stay on the bashing because she's got a bunch of angry sisters that are baby mamas and, and this is pretty much a crowd and and uh and so like she's got all these angry sisters that that have let men run through them and pollute up their bodies from what i can see with these comments where they're just steadily angry and they're not looking for a solution on making anything better and so I see how like men are calling in and I'm like why are these guys calling in these guys that are calling in she's not giving them a chance to talk she's not giving them a chance to say anything she talks over them she's very rude now Cindy G is a very attractive sister I give her that but I can see her issue from day one even even my wife came in the room she heard her talking and she was just like I see why this woman's angry she's got and my wife's a black woman let me put that out there but I, I see why she's got issues and with getting a man or whatever is because this sister is just argumentative my wife is you know laid back my wife speaks her mind says what she had to say she's not in a position where I'm over her she's over me we you know we're equals we're a black couple whatever doing our thing 13 years strong married kids so on and so forth just give me a little background even though I don't have to so Cynthia G is just talking to all these men crazy, not giving them a chance to talk, not giving them a chance to say anything in her uh, in her call line. And so I just started researching her and I looked up, you know, and she had this issue with Jason Black from the Black Authority where they went verbally at it. A lot of you know Jason Black. He doesn't really show his face or whatever. And I seen her get into it like, well, she didn't get into it, but I see other people like Michi X going at her. Uh, I see people like uh, you know other prominent people in 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 a pro black community. I would say I want to say hotel, but pro black community. Shout out to Michi X. Um, I'm not for or against anybody, but I just feel like what she was doing on her channel was detrimental. I I see her as a no solution person. I see her as a person who is a shock jock. Now here's the ironic thing: a woman that was her bestie exposed her because she run around and got pregnant by another pro-black youtuber and she's pregnant by this guy and the very and she's calling all these brothers dusty but she gets pregnant by a brother who has a job who's a pro-black youtuber and he has this he has i guess he's a truck driver and uh the brother got her pregnant and he already has five children five children and she's and people were calling her baby mama number six and all this stuff right so what kills me is everything that this lady 
and she's supposed to be college ed educated, so on and so forth. But what kills me with this lady is that everything she's talking down about in the black community is what she's reflecting to be. She is the epitome of all the people that she's dogging out. She's telling people that they don't have good self-esteem, so on and so forth. But she is the very person that does not have good self-esteem to get, allow herself to be impregnated by a man who she recently met a year ago. I think his name is Robert or something like that. And she's already having a kid from this guy out of all the men she could have selected. Out of all the men she could have selected, she selected to be baby mama number six. And I find it just so ironic that this lady's... And so I was just like, I'm not going to let this woman anger me with her shock jock style of uh, uh, YouTube or whatever, talking about brothers, because basically her following is a, a lost following. These are the 50 to 60 or uh, whatever percentage of sisters that have messed up their lives. The ones who wanted to run after the, the gangsters, the thugs, didn't want to run after, uh, not say run after, but take the intelligent guys in high school. They didn't want to give the good guys a chance because they wanted somebody that was dangerous, that was gangster. They wanted somebody that sold the drugs. They wanted somebody who was in the streets. And so by the time they looked up to 30, 30 plus years old, they got all these kids and, and, and they, they on, they're waiting for child support. And every guy that practically comes through doesn't take them seriously because they're very angry and argumentative. These are the stereotypical people that society would like to say, this is all how people act of the black race, which we know is not the case. Uh, I do think that Cynthia G is a very intelligent person, but I do think she has a very argumentative back, uh, way of being. And I do think that she has a lot of issues that causes her to be argumentative from childhood. I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist, but I can tell that she has a lot of deep issues that causes her uh, not to be able to in engage or talk to people in an intelligent manner. So Cynthia G, if you see this, more power to you. Uh, I'm not here to just, you know, bash you or anything or go, you know, disrespect or anything, but you know, I just call things as I see them. Anyway, this your boy D. Rice. I'm out. I'm just sitting, you know, wanted to run these things by y'all on something I saw on the YouTube. And uh, that's, that is what it is. Y'all have a good one.